Today, we're thrilled to give you an exclusive look at our live action films. Please welcome Kevin Feige, president of Marvel Studios. The first film in phase three comes out next May, and it's called Captain America Civil War. Anytime you get to do something, you kind of get to promote not just what you're making, but Disney itself, it's kind of a win-win. I'm a big, big, big Disney fan. When you can surround yourself by positive people who appreciate your work, you just want to give more. Oh, keep it up. We're here all day. We're here all day. <laughs> the beauty with Marvel is that they continue to impress. They continue to uh, go higher and higher and exceed your expectations. When they call you, you answer. Please welcome Chris Pine. This is nearly 8,000 people. It's, yeah, it's a big room. I'm, I am shelf It's a big room. I'm very excited to, to show the film we have. It's called The Finest Hours. I'm not giving up on him. Not on my watch. I am very pleased to introduce Alice herself, Mia Wasikowska. I'm here to do the first bit of promotion for Alice Through the Looking Glass. Well, I love the character of Alice, so to be able to kind of play her again was really fantastic. It's been six years since we shot the first one, so it was nice to kind of reprise. Please welcome Bryce Dallas Howard. I'm here today with Pete's Dragon. It's a very emotional film, and it's a really touching story, and and um, and quite meaningful, and I think important for kids. I was obsessed with Pete's Dragon as a kid, and it's something that I'm so proud to share with my kids. Please welcome to the stage, John Favreau. Jungle Book is a Disney property, but it belongs to the audience now. To show it to this crowd and to have them cheer you on and say, keep going, uh, that's, that's as good as it gets. I'd like to introduce Ben Kingsley, Lupita Nyong'o, and finally, Neil Seti. It, it was really exciting, and, and I got goosebumps, you know, just hearing the fervor. It's so overwhelming, and I love it so much. It's like really crazy and fun. <laughs> oh my God. People say, do you still get nervous? Of course, I nearly fainted back there. There's so many good movies coming out of Disney. I'm glad I'm part of that club. And then I nearly fainted again when 7,000 people got up and went crazy. I've been at it for decades now, but it's days like today that stick out in your memory and that you hold on to and you never forget. The Queen of Cotway, Lapita Nyong'o. This is a story about the commitment to a dream. The one and only, brand new Disney legend, Johnny Depp, Captain Jack Sparrow. Please welcome the director of Star Wars, The Force Awakens, J.J. Abrams. I felt very lucky to be up on stage and in many ways could easily have seen myself in the crowd cheering along with them. Our cast, John, Oscar, Daisy, and Lapita, ladies and gentlemen. I was stunned when I went out there just to see how spread out it was and how many people there were. It was great. Oh, you guys. You know, it's good now. Just wait. D23 is a chance for Disney to really connect with fans. It's so nice to be in a room full of people who love what you do. Oh, yeah, there was a surprise guest for Harrison Ford. Ladies and gentlemen, Harrison Ford! It's a great thrill to be here with you who made this whole thing happen, and I, I couldn't be happier. We're building a 14-acre Star Wars land. We're not just building one of these. We're building two. <laughs> <laughs>